that's when they give up on their diet. They think it doesn't work, it wasn't the right diet. And they go back to their old behaviors and they're back down here again. So today I want to explain something to you that I think a lot of people miss when they're on their weight loss journey. And in fact, I knew this as a coach and a personal trainer for years, but did a terrible job of explaining it to my clients because it was just something I thought was uh, assumed or natural. And that is the way that we actually lose weight. It's not linear. So it's not a point A the point B situation. And I want to credit uh, PhD uh, Alan Aragon, he's a nutrition researcher, for uh, sharing this information with uh, his Facebook group because it helped me uh, realize that I needed to explain this better to my clients and my audience. So when most people start with weight loss, with any kind of diet, usually sort of a trend or a fad diet, a set meal plan with a set of food rules, you're going to see a nice clip of pounds lost. So if this is weeks you've been on a diet and this is pounds lost right here at zero at the starting point, over the first six weeks, you're probably going to lose about one pound per week. You'll be really motivated and your body will respond quickly. So you'll zip and you'll lose those six pounds. Then all of a sudden you might stop losing weight and then you'll sort of plateau which is a dreaded word for a lot of uh, chronic dieters. But the thing is that it's a completely natural and normal part of body composition change. So you're going to have plateaus and they, you just need to accept them and continue doing all the smart, awesome lifestyle behaviors that you were doing that lost the six pounds. And you might need to make some adjustments here. But what I find is that most people that's when they give up on their diet. They think it doesn't work, it wasn't the right diet. And they go back to their old behaviors and they're back down here again. But let's say you push past a little bit further, you give yourself another two weeks on the plateau and you up your exercise, you refocus, and you notice that you're losing just a little bit more. And you get here to 12 weeks and you've lost 10 pounds, okay. So you're about you know over halfway there to your 15 pounds lost. You're gonna hit a plateau again. And this time you're gonna be a little more frustrated because the rate at which you lost weight last time slowed down and you hit another plateau. But you stick with it. You keep working on those habits bit by bit. And this is the point right here where if you decide not to go on a diet but just to change the way you eat, the foods you choose, the quality and the quantity of the foods that you consume and how often you move, when you start making a wholehearted lifestyle change, you find that you slowly, over a few more plateaus and gradual losses, can get to your goal. But generally speaking, that's going to be much further out than what the diet industry would tell you, right? 15 pounds and what? three weeks, five weeks, six weeks. For most people with or without PCOS, that is not a reasonable or sustainable way to go about doing weight loss. And in fact, um, the proof is in the pudding, right? I mean, how many of us are struggling with our weight throughout the entire country? These diets, these short-term six-week fixes don't really take you through this journey. And that is why I want you to think about two things from this lesson. Number one, the science here. Don't panic when you get to a plateau. That's your way of your body is responding to the changes and adapting. So just be patient with yourself. And number two, show yourself some compassion. It's really easy to be proud of yourself when you're dropping tons of weight, one pound per a week. It's easy to be excited. But you really need that self-compassion that we talked about last week to get through this much longer journey because without having a friendly mental environment, without a lot of positive self-talk, it'll be very difficult for you to hold on to these nutritional changes because you'll start to feel less confident as you hear yourself say bad things to yourself. So if you're right here right now and you're saying, I'm terrible, I picked the wrong diet, I shouldn't have had birthday cake on my birthday, 
silence that voice and start saying, hey, I know based on the science that weight loss is not an A to B journey. It's going to take time and I deserve a little compassion from myself. So I'm gonna encourage myself to keep going and I'm gonna take an objective look at how compliant I've been with my weight loss journey.